Hello everyone! Welcome to Cuck Me Grub's coding class. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Open Library API to search for books. So if I go over here to Firefox and I type in, let's say I want to find some dictionaries. So I type in dictionary and I click on get books. I was too lazy to make enter work. And then wait and look at that. First result it's a dictionary and then down here there are some other dictionaries most of them don't have cover art because I mean they're dictionaries what do you expect and they show up you can get a lot more information about the books such as their authors and loads of stuff but I'm not going to be going into much detail if you want go read the documentation but this will be a basic tutorial about how to use the API all right, let's get started. Pop open your text editor or whatever you prefer to use to write HTML. I'm using my text editor. Again, I'm going to use big fonts because I've gotten comments saying to make the fonts big. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is, of course, make a doc type tag. Exclamation mark, doc type, HTML because this is an HTML document. And now, let's make an input tag. So, input, give it an ID. I'm just going to call it input. So, input ID equals input. Close quotes. Now, make a button. Button. Give it an onClick event, and make the function be called get books or you can call it whatever you want but I'm gonna be calling it get books open parentheses close parentheses so it's on click equals in quotes get books open parentheses close parentheses close quotes and inside the tag I'm just gonna put get books and close the button tag slash button awesome now make a line break with the br tag, no need to close it, just like with the input tag, and then make a div. Div id equals output. I mean, you can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to be calling it output so that, you know, it's where the output's going to be, so it makes sense. Close the div, you don't need to put anything inside of it, and that's it. Now, up here under the doc type tag, open a script tag go a couple lines down and close the script tag slash script and now let's write our script inside of it so make a function with function get books or whatever you call it down here open parentheses close parentheses open curly braces and then inside of it we're gonna start with document dot get element with a capital E the first E by with a capital B, ID with a capital I, open parentheses, open quotes, output, close quotes, close parentheses, dot inner, HTML with a capital HTML equals, open quotes, close quotes, semicolon. And what that does is it will clear the output div. So that means that if you search for something, and then you want to search for something else, the results will clear before getting filled in. Otherwise, you would get new results just below the old results, and it would be all messed up and weird. Cool, okay. Now, fetch, open parentheses, open quotes, and I'll put the link to this endpoint in the description, but it's pretty short, so I'm going to just type it here. HTTP colon slash slash openlibrary.org slash search dot json question mark q equals now close the quotes plus document dot get element with a capital e by with a capital b id with a capital i open parentheses input well open quotes to input close quotes close parentheses dot value close parentheses 
And what this does is it makes a request to this endpoint with a query of whatever you type into here. Don't put a semicolon at the end of this line. Very important. If you put a semicolon at the end of this line, it'll break everything. Literally, this happened to me one time. Don't do it. Dot then, open parentheses, a equals sign, greater than sign, a dot j s o n, open parentheses, close parentheses, close that, close parentheses. And that is just because you need to convert the response, which is currently a string, to a dictionary, or as JavaScript calls it, an object, which you can then read. So add another dot then, and don't put a semicolon at the end of this line either. That'll break everything too. Dot then, open parentheses, response, equals sign, greater than sign, open curly braces, for, open parentheses, var i equals zero, semicolon, i is less than 10, or whatever amount of results you want to have. So if you want to show all of the results, you would do response dot docs dot length, and that would give you all of the results. But I don't want to do that. I'm just going to show the top 10 results. So I'll do i is less than 10. If you want to show the top 12, then you'll do i is less than 12. And then a semicolon, and then i plus plus. Or if you want plus plus i, or if you want i plus equals 1. I'll just leave it at i plus plus. You should just do that. That's standard. Open curly braces, and inside do document dot get element with a capital E, by with a capital B, ID with a capital I, open parentheses, and open quotes, output, close quotes, close parentheses, dot inner, HTML with a capital H, T, M, and L, plus equals, plus sign, equals sign, open quotes, and then make an H2 tag, or if you want H1, but I like H2, looks better in this case, close quotes, plus response, dot docs, open square brackets i dot title plus open quotes close that h2 tag so slash h2 close quotes plus response dot docs open square brackets i close square brackets dot author underscore name and then in my case I'm gonna keep it simple here and I'm gonna do open square brackets zero close square brackets however if there are multiple authors to your book this will only show whoever is first on the list so if you wanted you could make a for loop to show all of the author names, but I'm keeping it simple, so I'm just leaving it at zero, but know that some books will have more than one author. Okay, plus open quotes, br tag for line break, and then img tag for image src equals open single quotes so if here you open double quotes then you'll open single quotes here otherwise if you open single quotes here you'll open double quotes here okay I open double quotes so open single quotes HTTP colon slash slash covers dot open library dot org slash b slash ISBN slash close quotes but close double quotes or whatever quotes you opened here after the plus sign plus response dot docs open square brackets i close square brackets dot isbn open square brackets zero close square brackets 
plus open whichever quotes you opened last time there was a plus sign dash capital M dot JPEG if you wanted the image to be really big and high res then you would do dash capital L if you wanted it to be small dash capital S I'm gonna do M because it looks fine and then close the single quotes the ones you opened here after the equal sign and finish your image tag finally make a line break with BR close those double quotes add a semicolon and now we can close these curly braces then we can close these curly braces then we can close these parentheses finally finally we can add a semicolon at the end of the line and we can close these curly braces to end the function that's all the code save this file I'm gonna call it open library API dot HTML save now open your browser find the file on your computer here it is on my computer drag it out of there and now I'm going to type in the name of a book let's look up the Meg that was a really bad movie which was based on a pretty bad book too the mag and hit search and now here are all of the books which match the word the mag and you'll see that the first two don't have cover art but the rest down here too so that's how you do that and if you want let's make it so it shows all of the results instead of just the top 10 so let's change this 10 here to, as I said earlier, response dot docs dot length. Save this, reload in the browser, hit get books again. And now, seems as if there were only a few results, but if we look up something more, I don't know, let's try dictionary. There's probably a lot of dictionaries, right? Oh yeah, that was slow. That looks like more than 10. So anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Buy my merch. And remember, is that sound the washing machine? Or is it something more sinister?